I want neither the gun nor the bullet. I want neither the ground nor the mountaintop. I don't want to take the wound to the head to end up in some unmarked grave or marked grave to end up some cautionary tale. I don't want to shoot, don't want to vanquish, don't want to conquer and take things back, to take back my body and claim it as my body and stand on top of a mountain with a smoking gun in my hand, a survivor, running my hands up and down my body, loving that body, grabbing it, yelling mine, mine, mine at the top of my lungs, a winner, a success story, a redemption. These can't possibly be my only choices. Once I slept at Jesse's grave. It was an accident, a dramatic hurling towards stasis, because I needed to sleep. I hadn't slept in days. I had been struggling with periods of mania for months, staying up for days at a time despite any efforts to sleep, despite sex or pills or vodka. This was over a year after Jesse died. It was Christmas time. Jesse died in mid-November, and that year I stumbled through the holidays. I stumbled through the following holidays in a fog. That first year she was dead, I stumbled around generally. I don't remember finishing that year at college, don't remember doing homework, don't remember going to parties. I do remember driving to see my therapist, alternating between showing up for my appointments and blowing them off, driving around, driving down the streets in my hometown, toward the railroad tracks, toward the trees that blocked the tracks from the street, toward the trees that Jesse used to tell me we could soar over if I just drive fast enough, towards that soaring that I began to think might be possible if I finally followed her advice, her advice that seemed to rise up from the ground into the front of my mind, and so I press my foot against the accelerator and I drive faster and faster towards that tree line, toward the tracks, and I'd go faster and I'd think, yes, this time it will work, it will work this time, it will work, and then I'd slam on the brakes and I'd cry, and I'd cry, and I'd remember so, and I remember so little from that year except for the crying, and the driving, and the living, and the living. I want neither the ground nor the mountaintop. 